Today I'm going to show you how I do a slant roof on my custom chicken coops. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. My name is Ricardo. If this is your first time watching our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now so you can keep up with our weekly uploads. This video today was actually requested by one of our viewers and he said, can you show us how you do a slant roof on your custom chicken coops? I think he was watching a video on how to do external nesting boxes on our chicken coop. So here we are, we're gonna get right into it. It's gonna be really nice and easy and quick. So I'm working on this coop, which the measurements are three and a half feet by six foot long. It'll have this slant roof right here. And in order to do that, there's probably several ways to do it, but the way that I do it, I'm not telling you how you should do it, but this is the way I do it here at our place. I am gonna make the three walls, the two side walls and the back one all the same height. The front wall will be just a couple of inches taller than the rest of them. We're gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen here. My front wall is gonna be 36 inches tall from the base of this coop. It's gonna be 36 inches tall. And then if you come over to our side wall, this wall right here is gonna be 34 inches tall. So it's only a two inch difference. And then if we go to the other side, same thing. This wall back here measures 34 inches and the back wall is also 34 inches tall, top to bottom from the base up. That only gives us a two inch difference, but for us here in California, we barely get any rain or snow. So that's plenty of a slope for the water to drain to the back. And so very simple concept by having your front wall taller than the rest. Once you lay down your rafters like this, you can already see how it's got this angled roof like that. I'm going to go ahead and put some walls together here that I've already been painting all morning and putting together. We're going to go ahead and add them to our studs and then I'm going to show you how I do my rafters next. All right, and that's what my rafters look like for now. I'm probably gonna stop working on this particular coop for the day because I gotta go to the hardware store and buy some other things like the roofing panels and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. I need a nesting box lid here. I need to buy hinges and of course the white trim that will surround the entire edges of the coop here. It'll look something like this. Here's the door. And uh, yeah, I gotta go buy some more trim so that I can do the trim on all these corners. I, I, the, the only trim I've done so far is the windows and the door, but I gotta go to the store and buy some new things. I just wanted to show you guys what my rafters look like. These are one by twos. And I got five going across right here. If you guys saw me using these spacers, I like to use these guys because I've done this size coop several times. So now just to guide me and make things easier, I use this as a spacer. They're 14 inches apart and that helps me get them equally spaced. And at the edge here, we got a three inch overhang that I use here, it's marked three inches. And I like to just use that so I can go and just very quickly make them all the same length here on the overhang. I need to buy, raf uh, not rafters, I need to buy roofing panels for this guy. And uh, I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So I'll continue the video tomorrow. I'm gonna get some work done on this second coop, which will be Almost identical to that one, just a foot smaller here for a customer. So, see you guys in a bit. Well, it is now the next day. I went ahead and finished up this chicken coop. Let me go ahead and show you what the roof looks like on top. I went ahead and used the white PVC roof panels up here. I bought a 12 foot piece. I cut them into four feet pieces, giving me three sheets. And then uh, I go ahead and use these one inch Roofing screws here with the little silicone to prevent water from leaking in. But these are screwed in right into my rafters. Just from earlier, these are the one by two rafters that I use. And then that one inch screw screws in directly to this right here. So it gives me my slat roof right there. Something to consider depending on where you live. If you live in a place that you guys get a lot of snow, you're gonna to wanna to make your slant roof even steeper than this one here. This is only a two, a two inch difference. So it's got about a two degree angle to it. And like I said, we live in Southern California where we hardly ever get any rain, but that's plenty to drain the rain to the back of it. But if you live somewhere where it's real snowy, you want to consider the, the weight of the snow on your roof. 
So you're gonna wanna have it steeper than that. So maybe do something a little bit more like that. But this gives you kind of the base idea on how to do a slant roof. I hope I went ahead and answered that viewer's question by asking me to do a video on doing a slant roof. But there we have it guys, it's a finished coupe. It's got an automatic chicken coop door also. I'll leave the link in the description for that. And almost done with this other one here. I banged out two this week. So ready to go to a new home. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll also like some of these other videos we've done in the past. We upload weekly, so if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel now so you can keep up with our weekly uploads. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.